In this video, we are going to see about the uh, full subtractor. In the previous video, we have seen half subtractor, where uh, two bits are subtracted, and uh, the difference and borrow are shown. Here, we are going to see if there is a borrow in, how it is going to handle. So, three bit. Okay. So, regarding the third bit, uh, how we are going to handle that. So, for that, we use a full subtractor circuit. So, these are the A, B, and another one is borrow in. And difference and borrow out are the outputs. Now, uh, this is a truth table for that. Now, if you find out the ones, the respective places, and split up in the corner path, you will get the map like this. Okay, so difference is one means A bar, B bar, and C. So A bar, B bar, and C. Here we put one. And then A bar, B, C bar. A bar, B, C bar. Here one. And then this. A, B bar, C bar. A, B bar, C bar. So here one. And then this. All ones. One, one, one. So all that is, you cannot form any pairs of ones. So you, you have to draw the circuit like this. So you would be getting the equation like this and you have to draw a circuit for it. Then. This is for difference, difference equation. Then for pair, uh, sorry, for borrow, uh, again, you find out wherever the ones are there, and then you'll be able to form the pairs like this. And when you deduct it, you will be getting the equation like this. So for this, we are going to draw the circuit diagram. So before that, drawing the circuit diagram, we'll go to this. Uh, block diagram. So you will be using two half subtractors, just like how we have seen in two, uh, full adder, we use two half adder. So likewise, here we will be using two half subtractor. So in uh, both the inputs are given for the first half subtractor. The output of the first half subtractor is given as an input, one of the input for the second half subtractor, and the third input is given here as a, another input, borrow in. Then the output is the difference, and the borrow of the first half subtractor and the second half subtractor both are given to an R K, and that will be the borrow out. Now, you see, this is the already we have seen this is a half subtractor circuit. So the same thing is implemented here. So it's carry and it sorry, it's borrow and this borrow are given as an input for R K, and this we call it as a borrow, and here we have this difference. Now, we can see how we can, uh, uh, let me draw the circuit. Already we have seen one, uh, this is a half subtractor. Now with this, how to, we have to form another half subtractor and we have to uh, draw the full subtractor circuit. Just let me remove this because here is not the one we are where we are going to see our output. So again, one XOR gate and then one AND gate. Okay, now so here, okay, now this. output is given here. Okay, now we have given one in the output of this XR to this XR. Right, to give space for the next one, like this, then this is the borrow in, right? Okay, now the output will be this is the difference. So, now already here, this is difference. Now, from here, is, this is for A, isn't it? See here, this is A. So, for that, we have to give it as a complement. We have to reverse the input and then we have to give it as an input for the SAND gate. Yes, then uh, this will be the another input for 
the sand gate right now or gate yes so for this we have this the output of this and this are given and here we have the led this output you can check the output here now uh, you can see the truth table this is the truth table and we will see so here this is a truth table and we will verify our output now when all are zero okay you have both difference and borrow zero a is a b and this is borrow in so zero zero one we have both one and then zero one zero so yeah zero a zero in and this is zero zero one zero we have both one and then zero one one now zero one one we have difference zero and borrow one then one zero zero one one zero zero we have one zero zero we have difference one and borrow zero and then one zero one one zero one we have both output zero difference and borrow both are zero and then one one zero one one zero one one zero we have both zero and then all ones we have both borrow and differences one because we have a borrow one and the difference between these two is zero right so we have seen how a full subtractor works okay now we'll go for uh, just now what we have seen is uh, three bit subtraction we have seen using a full subtractor now if we uh, want to add four bit simultaneous subtraction okay how to do that for that we go for parallel subtractor four bit parallel subtractor just like how we have seen for binary adder here we have binary subtractor so uh, this is how you form the circuit so this is a full subtractor so this is not fa full adder uh, here we have full subtractor and here it is connected and this is uh complement right so like this, we have given here for a complement and then these are all the output where you can see now we'll see one more diagram where we use full adder itself instead of a subtractor we use full adder and then the same full adder can be used for full subtractor also so how it is going to be done that is what we are going to see here see uh this is a full adder circuit and here there is a common line which is given as an input for an xor gate and the, and another input for this xor gate is b okay b bit and the output is given as an input the b is not directly given if you see the parallel adder b is directly given but here it is not so it is given through an xor gate and there is a common line so what happens uh depending upon the value of m this acts as a full adder or acts as a full subtractor so the output you can see here right carry and sum whether it is a sum or a borrow that we can final borrow we can see that so see here uh if it is zero let us imagine here m is zero given so it will go for all the circuit zero okay in xor what happen here zero and when b is zero imagine here we have given zero now when this is zero what happen zero and zero in xor you will have zero so b not comes as such okay so suppose here it is one b zero is one uh, i am talking about when m is when m is zero okay when you give for this you can give either a zero or one one day 
So when is m is one, what will happen? That is what we are going to see. So when m is zero, this input is zero, and when b naught is zero, zero and zero according to our XOR gate output also will be zero. Imagine here we have one. Okay, if it is zero, then our next input we consider b naught as one. So one and zero means there also you will get the output as zero because in XOR one zero you will get the output one, isn't it? The combination, odd number of ones. You remember, so one. So which means the B naught is coming as such. Now this acts as a full ladder. Okay, so B naught is coming. If it is uh, M is zero, then the whole circuit acts as a full ladder. So whatever is given in B naught or B one or B two, B three, the same logic goes for here also. The same output. The whatever is present in B naught, whatever you give as an input, the same thing will go here. Now it is exactly similar to a full uh, uh, parallel binary adder. You are giving A naught and B naught, A one and B one directly like that. It will behave, right? Now suppose M is one. Now what will happen when this is one? Now here you have one in all these things. You will have one. Okay. Now imagine B naught is zero. Okay, so when B naught is zero, we will consider this case zero and one. What will happen? Zero and one, you have one here, which means it is not passing the value of B zero. It is passing the reverse. If B zero is zero, it is complement is given. Okay, zero means one comes. Suppose now. Uh, Right now, suppose uh, you are passing a one here. Imagine. Already we have seen if it is zero and one, we know one will be the output here. Okay, which is nothing but opposite of B naught. Suppose one one. According to our XOR, what will happen? The output will be zero, even number of one. So you will get zero, which means here also if it is one, you will get the reverse zero. Clear. So the same goes here also. So, if M is one, whatever is given in the B bit will be complemented, and the complement goes here, which is nothing but our subtracted logic. Okay. So instead of A here, we have given B. That's all. That is the difference. Any one of the input is reversed. Okay. So here, uh, A not, B not, A one. For B not, we are complementing and giving it. Now it acts as a full subtractor. Which is nothing but that is what we have seen in the previous thing. That is what given here also. Okay, you can give uh, the same full adder without this circuit I have given, but now I have given the full circuit. So complement if you for the same full adder if you pass the complement, then it acts as a full subtractor, right? Whereas here this is a combination of both full adder without this line M. Yeah, it acts only as a full sub, uh, full subtractor, but if you have a common line and based on this, whether it is a zero or one, the input also varies by giving this XOR gate also. So in that case, if it is zero, it acts as a full adder. If it is a one, then it acts as a subtractor. Same circuit can be used for dual purpose. Okay, it can be used to either that or that. So here, what we have seen is we have reversed the A. Okay, whereas B also can be reversed. In the case, A should be given strength. So whatever it is, you will get the same output. So that is what given here. Instead of uh, A naught, we have given uh, we have reversed the B naught. If you don't want that, you can put this uh, uh, XOR here and you can make you can reverse the A naught. Both are same. Okay. Now the next one is what we are going to see is decoders that we will see in the next recording. Next video.